Hey guys, this is Splatoon 2 News welcoming you to a reaction of the Arms Direct that was hosted on Wednesday. I recorded this, this voice recording was recorded live, but I'll probably I'll upload this a couple of days after, maybe Friday or Saturday, because it takes forever to export to these videos. But let's get straight into the reaction. Arms Direct. The gift of arms. Arms, more than mere limbs. Capital A R M S. Oh God, this Instead narrator. Like springs, an unusual ability shrouded in mystery. Is it hereditary? A mutation? Giraffes. Or the result of uh, antelope? Deer? Oh, like DNA know. coils, aren't they? Historians have attempted to pinpoint the origin, but each attempt has ended in failure, as if held back by an invisible hand. Despite the mysterious so it's kind of going to the law of arms, like where did the arms come from, how did these people become to be, because the people in the audience don't have stretchy arms, so these must be like a secret specimen somewhere. Oh, 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 oh. I love the theme tune, mate. The so they can all remember how they came to have the arms. Extendable arms. Well, that's In not fact, very creative. They just woke up and had them. It's a bit stupid. Say. I was shocked at first, but having arms like this is actually pretty rad. It's a bit of an uncreative like explanation, you know. Yeah, I mean, I'm Biff, your trusty arms commentator. Today we're bringing you another non-stop volley of arms action. So expect a healthy dose of stretchy limbs and, of course, fista cups. Biff! Oh yeah, it's Biff. Oh yeah, Biff, I don't like you, so go away. Biff annoyed me last direct so much. He got on my nerves. Like, you wouldn't believe how much he annoyed me. Weight and attributes. Oh, so you have, like, different... Of course I do. Light, medium, and heavy. Slower to launch, but stronger. Lighter, faster to launch, but not as impactful. Oh well. May even run into each other. Will they not? Your arm is of the same weight or heavier, you can block punches. So you have to oh, that's neat. To dodge a punch or block it with your own. If you know the weight of the arms you're using, victory is always within reach and your chance of winning greatly increases. But what about arms attributes? Yes, the attributes. attributes. Fire, electric, wind, ice, stun, Each explosion, and blind. So fire will probably fire. give We're them a... An with just fire effect. Electric, cute them. Of, blow them away with wind. Freeze, freeze them with ice. With ice. Stun them with stun, stun, of course. Explode them with explosion and blind their vision with blind. That, it's pretty self-explanatory, but it's it's a good idea to have the attributes. It's a little like um, Splatoon and Splatoon 2's clothes. You know how like abilities are attached to them. Well, with the arms, they also have abilities attached to them. But there's only seven, and so like thirty different abilities, or however they are, however many abilities there are in Splatoon and Splatoon 2. I think there's quite a lot in Splatoon and Splatoon 2, but I like how instead of like there just being loads of abilities, these only have seven. I wonder if you're actually able to change the abilities, or the attributes on each arm. You know, like how it said the dragon has arms. I mean, the dragon arm has fire. Maybe you could change that to electrocute once you, like, if you unlock a different variant. So maybe, like, Loon, you know, like how blasters in Splatoon is like range blasters, custom blasters, lunar blasters. Maybe they have, like, electric dragon, wind dragon, stuff like that. Or maybe you can pay a certain amount to change the attribute on each arm. Right, Springman, Boomerang. Try bolt and what was the other one? Just just the big boxing gloves. I wasn't looking properly or taking the information in. I was just talking. How does that strike you? Mechanica. A fighter in the arms league without stretchy arms? She must be a genius. He has a suit with stretchy arms, and it's just a stretchy suit. 
Her handmade fighting suit is equipped with a hovering function. A perfect fit so she can hover and she's very durable. Just look at her. Who wouldn't want to cheer for this girl? Here are her Who wouldn't want to cheer? Me. Revolver of Electric. Whammo with Stun? Was it? And Summit with Blind, I think it was. Yeah, Whammo with Stun. Ooh, so it's really good when it comes to damage, but it leaves her all exposed. Homie with Explosion. Oh god, they're gonna get really annoying because you're just gonna have like these explosions in your face all the time. Uh, I wonder how easy they are to avoid. Like the Seekers in Splatoon and Splatoon 2, you can make so many references. Like the Seekers, you can just avoid if you dip into the ink. Maybe if you dodge to the side, you can just avoid the homies. There's gotta be some way to avoid them. Right, moving on to Ninjara. Genji, whatever you wanna call him. Green haired ninja. Ninja speed, so he has a lot of mobility, he can disappear and walk for a little bit, like a, like a centimetre, it's like his dodge. Signature job, so we, oh, signature, ugh, signature dodge, oh I can't see that, signature dodge, that's his signature, that's his signature dodge, I can't say that, I can't say signature dodge. Jesus. <laughs> Signature dodge. Okay. Triblast. So it's kind of like the same as Springman's Tribolt, except it's like different fest. <gasps> so that backs me up on what we were saying earlier about maybe being able to change the abilities on each um, arm. Because we've got like an exploding Tribolt. Master Mummy. So he's really big and bulky and heavy and fat. So he's got a lot of. But do, do, do each character have different health? It's so like a bigger character, like Mechanica and Master Mummy would have more health than possibly Springman. I don't know how it works, but he has a huge character for with huge weapons. Retorture, fire cannons. That's cool. Fires three bolts again. Phoenix. That's cool. Except his weapons, although they're really big and heavy. Big character, big weapons. They, they travel really slow. Oh, come on, Ribbon Girl. He could have dodged that. Oh, he's new. Yeah, he's new. I hadn't seen him before. <gasps> he's a new character. Kid Cobra. I mean, I kind of expected to see someone new. But come on. That looks so cool. Oh, his arms are really stretchy and stuff. It's really like a snake. I guess that's why it's called Kid Cobra. Have you seen this map before? The skate park. Black Belly skate park. I like how like the platforms rise up and you can spin along them. Slam Amanda Hydra and cool around. Oh, so you know like how they had the fire boom around? They've got the ice boom around. That's really cool. I was surprised to have a water effect or something. I guess there's not much you can really do with a water effect though. Water doesn't really affect humans, does it? The Hydra. Oh, so they've got another... Th there's loads of arms which fire like three bolts at once. There's so many of them. Oh, they've moved on. Where are the rest of the fighters? Didn't mention Ribbon Girl or Helix or Min Min. Didn't mention him. What the hell? Oh, there's lots of different versus modes. Fighting. So just the basic mode of the game, except it's like, instead of being online. It is online, sorry. Wait, not me. Oh, so you can like go around the pitch and there's different items like water bottles or juices that go up your health. 2v2 except the allies are tethered together so if one and one of your teammates go flying you will um you will also go flying oh my gosh so you can actually hit your own teammates as well volleyball volleyball oh come on we should have expected someone like this with stretchy arms hit explosive ball back and forth from v-ball you can punch over the net ah oh, because you've got extendable arms it's kind of hard not to reach over the net so i'm glad you allowed that Oops. Oh my god, you've got to like grab your enemy and pull him into the net. What the heck? This looks so cool. Ninja will be so good in V-Ball in this. 
Oh, so the further away you, uh, the farther away you throw an enemy into the goal, uh, your your opponent, the farther you away, the further away you are. If you throw them into the basketball net, you get more points. Like he was really far away, so we got three points. But I think three points a match you can get. If we really push, you only get one. There was one like target shootout, but that was boring. Defeat all the enemies in one on one hundred. So you got to defeat a hundred enemies without dying. Okay, that's cool. And then, of course, test and training. Like the training lobby in Splatoon 2 outside Sheldon's shop. No, sorry, the testing lobby in Splatoon outside um, Sheldon's shop. I can't speak today. What is up with me? Right, new arms. As you fight on, you'll rack up a lot of in game prize money. Oh, so as you win, you get like three points or something, depending on the opponent. If you're in like a rank battle or something, I presume there's rank battles. The more matches you win, the more points you get. And once you reach a total amount of points, you can like buy arms or unlock arms. And if you unlock a duplicate, it powers them up. Oh, that's really cool. That's amazing. So like, if I got a duplicate of the Slammamander, the damage goes up from 90 to 100. That's brilliant. I've got some more oh, Fighters Part 2, so now they introduce stuff like Sp Ribbon Girl and... Yeah, speaking of Ribbon Girl, here she is. Ribbon Girl. The singing arm spider is joining the grand Singer. With her brand new song. Of a woman doing a pop artist. A blonde lady with makeup. She must be a pop artist. Girl power. <laughs> wow, feminists will be on this one. Sparky pop and slap Amanda. Oh, so like um, Springman has the same kind of gloves but the fire instead of electric. Like a party popper. <laughs> and a fire slap Amanda. Loving it. Min Min. Min Min. Ramen bitch. A certified martial arts master. She can knock down opponent's punches with her spin kick. After charging up and performing a throw, her dragon arm would overwhelm anyone. With her tough looks and fancy footwork, she's got me dying for some noodle arms of my own. Oh, she's got noodle arms. Love noodle arms, Minimum. Right, she's got dragon, mega one, ram ram. Of course, you're gonna have the dragon because she's like Asian. Chinese or Japanese or whatever. I think it's Japanese. Ramen originally comes from. Or maybe Japan's more known for ramen than China, I think. Let's be honest, Japan is way better than China. Helix. Arms Laboratories accidentally engineered this strange life form while researching arms day and night. Unlike the other fighters, this guy's whole body is stretchy. Okay. His whole body is stretchy, but he can only use his arms. He's really, really mobile, so he can even dodge a full ultimate. By Mechanica. Blob, Ice Dragon, and the other thing. Blob is like a blind effect and does a lot of damage. 100. Nice. An ice dragon, yes, of course. So they do have different dra guardian and electric shield. That's nice. So they do have like the same type of um, arms, but with different attributes. So you got the fire dragon, you got the ice dragon, you've got the um, tri bolt, which is electric. Um, three like three pro projectiles, which are like electric, and then you have like. A, th a thunderbolt or like no like a firebolt summit which is like the same thing but fire instead of electric send three projectiles out that's fire uh, firebolt or whatever and three projectiles that's um electric for the tribolt and oh my god <sighs> these are called bark he's like his little dog can you even fight in pairs like that, that's a bit silly like the dog don't even have stretch arms what the hell so the ultimate is a kind of like join together. It's like the robot dude, but then um, the dog jumps on his head and it become 
the ultimate. What, they, they both become the same person. Cracker, Bob, and I forgot the first one. Looks all cool, but don't care. Bob doesn't have an attribute. Cracker and Siki. Oh, poor Mechanica. Twintel. Oh, I saw a lot of posts. Um, about her being leaked in this presentation on Twitter. Also, oh, it's not even arms. They call this game arms, and she's fighting with the hair. So she's like an A star actor. She's like a red carpet actress. <gasps> her hair, her hair looks like those marshmallow sticks. What are they call flumps. <laughs> the marshmallow sticks. That's what it helps like. Oh wow, Parasol. Because she's an actress, so they're using like Hollywood stuff like stereotypical actress gear, long hair, makeup, parasols, stuff like that. Wow. Son of Burn. Oh yeah, Master Mummy had um, the Phoenix Bird, which was like a firebird, but this one's like a Thunderbird, so it's electric. Ten fighters we know about now. Beautiful. There are literally thousands of unique arm and fighter combinations. Yeah, because there's millions of arms up. Well, not millions, but there's hundreds of arm combinations you can have. So you've got ten fighters, which instantly gives you ten, and then all the different contribution co combinations you can have. So you like get all the combinations you have, all the combinations, and then multiply by ten to get the amount of combos you can get. I bet when a game comes out, someone will count them all up because their 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 life is sad. So Grand Prix, so basically you go through loads of modes and you have to beat every single other character. So let's say you choose Spring Man, you've got to beat Twintel and Min Min and everyone in different modes until you reach the final boss. So it's like 10 matches which may be different modes or may not be, I don't know. Party match, fight online, yes! So you can... Nice, so you can invite people to lobbies and then play different matches of different modes like V-Ball and stuff. 10 systems to connect and 2 plays per system means 20 players in a single lobby. <gasps> that is brilliant! That's even better than Splatoon. In Splatoon you can only get 8 people in a private battle lobby and then 2 people as spectators. So, the max people that can be in a lobby for arms is double that Splatoon 2. Yes, yes, yes! Ranked battles, ranked battles, ranked battles! Ranked battles! Yes, because quick play is fun and all, like, but there's no real risk to losing, and there's no real, like, competitive fun. It's like, if you win, you win, yay! But if you lose, it's just like, who cares? This is brilliant. It's like, it's like Overwatch in its first competitive season where you just gain like, you just go up by a couple of numbers and it'd be like, if you were level 10 you're bronze rank, if you're 20 you're silver, stuff like that. It's a little like that, season 1 of Overwatch is quite similar to the ranked ma matches here. Local wireless. Can't wait for Rambles, this game is going to be so good, oh my god. Such a great game this is. Announcements. Final well, announcements. Fighting fans, it's almost goodbye. Almost Content updates. This just in from Arms League headquarters. Apparently, Arms will continue to offer free updates. Yep, new fighters, I knew it'd be in there. I knew they'd announce content updates. New fighters, new stage, and new arms coming after release. I mean, when it comes to an online game that they're hyping up as much as this, there's going to be content updates. And even if it's obvious, the producers, Nintendo, has to make a statement that they're gonna. Wait, wait. No, 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 don't, don't continue with the video. Global test punch? Oh, yes, we get a test fire! And that is this next week. 27th of Saturday. So it starts in 26th for America, but it starts at the same time. It's just because of time zones. Don't worry, North America doesn't get an extra day. What was I saying about the updates? Yeah, even if it's obvious that there's going to be updates. The producers still have to make an, a statement that it will be coming. They have to say that content updates will come. They, they they have to. Pink Helix. Because otherwise no one can expect content updates. And you can't add content updates unless you've said that you're going to bring them. Twintel. 
different colored ribbon girl, pink helix we saw, a white kid cobra. Yeah, they, they announced different skins for her, for the um, characters. This is, it looks so good. I cannot wait for this game. I honestly cannot wait at all. Yay, unlocking arms. V-ball. 2v2 was the one we just saw. Oh, pinky cobra. Health juice. Final boss. There must be numerous bosses for this um, Grand Prix. So yeah, yay! Content updates. I knew we were gonna um, announce that. I mean, I already knew it was coming, but they had to say it. Oh, something completely. Yes, it's Splatoon 2. Do 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 do. Incoming translation. Squid Research Lab. Oh, what's it gonna be? People are saying it's gonna be the Octo Valley because they said that back in the April 12th direct. And now we're in. We're in the. Oh, a new hairstyle. Oh, I'll point that out in my analysis video. What's that? Oh my god. Does it- Whoa, 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 whoa. You can get behind the tower? Wait, what? Oh my god, what? I don't know if you guys saw that, but I'm gonna have to cover that in analysis as well. Octo Valley. So, oh, so Marie is the new Captain Cuttlefish then, I guess. If you're following her down the manhole. Hey up, Marie! Stereotypical Japanese outfit. You know, when you think of like stereotypical Japanese culture, you get like the pale white face, the sushi, the ribbons in the hair, the parasol. Hey, you showed up. As soon as I saw you aimlessly wandering around the square, I knew you were the one. I'm Marie. I know you're probably a bit starstruck, but I need you to get over it. It was like a little Japanese dojo to the side of it, like covered in fish is hot. Yes, I'm that Marie from the Squid Sisters. Whoopsie. You've never heard of me. For eel. Oh, no, the squid puns. Oh my god, look at this gear. That's a P90 from CSGO. I remember that because I used to play CSGO a while back. Bowling balls are not terrible. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god, propellers. Oh my god, this is so hype. <gasps> Gatling Galactarian, splash down, tend to miss out, so there's new specialties in Octo Valley, you know, like how we are bubbling in Ixigo last time. Oh my god, what the f- Sheldon, I could take this with you, it'll help me get some practical battle data. <gasps> oh my god, Spot Julie's Gatling, Slosher, Blaster, Rollers, Chargers, oh my god, what? Boom! Spot Blaster, so you can use different weapons now, so Sheldon will give you a different weapon in different courses. Oh my god, Humpback Octa Octolings, Sniper Murray. <laughs> I see what you did there. Toaster, Toaster. That's a weird toaster. <gasps> Fat Octopus on a unicycle. I'm sold. What the hell? That's Callie. That oh my god, that's Callie in the poster. What the hell? <gasps> I am so hyped. Oh my god. So I am going to have a huge analysis on this. Um, on the Splatoon 2 trailer. I won't do one on the arms, because arms is pretty self-explanatory. The only thing with mystery is that Splatoon 2 single-player campaign trailer. So I'm going to get a huge analysis out that within hopefully the next two weeks. Our analysis take quite a long time to make. I plan to make a salmon run analysis, but I in the end didn't bother. I think I might do in the future, but it may be a bit too late. I don't know, but um, it... It just took so long, we just kind of gave up on the summer analysis. But I will do one for that, I promise. I saw a few things, you may have heard me shout a few things like, Oh my god, new hairstyle, oh my god, you can get behind the goblin's tower with that root. Yeah, I shouted a couple of weird things that you may not understand, but I'm going to do a huge analysis on everything in that Splatoon 2 trailer. I hope you enjoyed this reaction, um, and until next time, goodbye. Like, share and subscribe if you did enjoy, and until the next one, goodbye.